Hi guys. All right. So it is another day. It is Tuesday. Yes. And I'm going to be showing you a powder today uh, from Moral Norman. Um, so like I said, I have tried all of our foundations before, but they, it was a long time ago. It was back in 20... Um, 18, 2019. So I have to re familiarize myself with Moral Norman's foundations. Now I'm about to put on our uh, foundation primer. It has uh, SPF 15 and it does have the silicone in it. Um, so I played with this powder last night. So I already know how good it is. But <clears throat> I wanted to, of course, show you with a fresh cleansed moisturized serumed face but i did notice um that around my nose area of course it was again i was just playing around it, my skin wasn't prepped but it still did a pretty good job i would have to say um but it did have some problems in my pore areas so Instead of putting this all over my skin, I'm just going to put this in the problem, the problem zone right here is my problem zone. So I'm going to get a little bit of this good size and I'm just going to pat this in. And what I realized with working at Merle Norman is that one women and you know comment below you're not wearing makeup anymore um there's very few women that are actually wearing makeup these days i guess it's because y'all don't have to go into the office um maybe it's the cost of living these days you know it's um it's getting really really expensive I have a little bit left so I have to use it where I need to um so I don't know what it is but you know it and then there's some women that just don't know what to do and it just boggles my mind because I'm like how do you not know what to do a face wash a serum and a moisturizer I don't, I don't know. And they get so confused because they're like, I've never done this before. Where have you been? <laughs> like, I, don't, I don't know. I just, I, I don't understand uh, that kind of life. I, I've never, I've never not taken off my makeup with a makeup remover. I've never not washed my face I've never not used a toner and I've never not used a serum or a moisturizer. I just, those things are not foreign to me and I don't understand why it's foreign to some other people that just, it's like, it's like not knowing what blush is to me. I just, I'm like, how do you not know what blush is? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, even my sister knows what blush is and she doesn't wear makeup. So, um, I don't know. Maybe my sister would be lost. Maybe she would, maybe she, if she came into the store, she would be like overwhelmed because she's just, I don't know. I, I don't know. It just, I can't, I just can't, I can't remove myself from never knowing these products like, or products in general, even if it was from another brand. Usually every brand has a moisturizer, face wash, and serum of some sort but anyway that's just my little soapbox rant there it's just kind of like i don't get it but anyway there's not much information on this powder by the way um at least not in this book that i have uh to read from but they added some new colors since I've been, since I've been gone. Um, so they added some new colors. So this is the powder range and it goes to pretty deep, you guys. I mean, these are some new, some new shades all, all up in here. And it comes in only in a compact form. 
and uh, I am going to be in Ultra Vanilla, which is this color right here. This is the color that I'm testing. I've tested some of the other colors, but maybe I couldn't find them uh, to come home and test with me. But, um, but yeah, so Ultra Vanilla is a warm undertone, which I usually stick to the warm or the neutral undertones, but sometimes the neutral can be too light. So, uh, and of course I'm doing this, I'm letting this settle in and set before I go in and put makeup on top. Um, let's see. Bah, 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 bah. So yeah, uh, this makeup can be worn wet or dry. So you can get a sponge and put your sponge in there and put it on. It says it is a sheer to full coverage. Now, when they say this, sometimes it, I think it's a little bit of a lie or it's just jargon, you know, because it's like, oh, it's buildable coverage. Oh, it's sheer coverage or it's full coverage. I know what full coverage is. I know what sheer coverage is and I know what buildable coverage is. And I have yet to find makeup that's actually like, actually was what it said it is. Even some of ours, I'm not going to lie to you. Some of ours, you know, it's just kind of mumbo jumbo, same stuff that you hear from all the others. Um, but this one, I will say it's all in how you use it and what tool to use to get that coverage. So if you want a sheer coverage, you would use a brush. If you want fuller coverage, I used my hands last night and let me tell you, it gave me full coverage. Um, I was impressed. Actually, I was so impressed that I was like, why wasn't I wearing this powder all along? <laughs> so I was really, really impressed. So it's all in the tools and knowing how to use the makeup. Um, if you want a fuller coverage, you would definitely use a uh, a sponge of some sort and I'm so out of sponges right now and I will not be using a sponge I'll be I I'm gonna be roughing it <laughs> for this one um, I might be able to use this this little pad here that's clean it's from Merle Norman so I'm gonna use this and I will be getting a fuller coverage that way um, but they have an actual, it comes like this. Oh, wait, hold on. Is that? Yeah, it comes like this. So it'll have an actual sponge in it. Um, it is oil absorbing. You can do touch ups. Um, I wouldn't do touch ups with the sponge itself because again, it's going to put a lot of product and it's going to look like you've, you know, <laughs> especially if you're in the, the lighter areas, it's going to look like you've smoke a little, not smoke, but snort a little stuff. Um, so, and it just might be too, too much, you know, cause it's gonna patchy right there. So I would take like maybe a little small brush and maybe dip it in there and then to, because all you're doing is cutting the shine. If you get oily throughout the day, all you want to do is kind of cut that shine. You don't want to like reapply a bunch of product on your face and then have your you know, makeup splotchy. So I wouldn't do that. You have to be smarter than what it says here. I mean, honestly. Um, so like I said, you can, it's a flawless finish. Um, it is a matte finish. And I will say that it definitely is a matte finish, but it's not a, it's not the old school matte finish. It's a, it's a nice matted, not airbrush because I don't want to lie to you guys. I don't want to say, oh, it's airbrush. No, it's not going to give you that airbrush finish. It's not going to give you a blurring finish. It's just going to give you a nice matted finish that's not flat. So I know how important that is to a lot of people. They're like, I don't want to look so matte that it's just, it's like, it just doesn't look right. And I know that there are some makeups out there that just ha say a matte finish and it just looks really bad. This looked really good. It looked like skin. 
that's what it looked like. It looked like, it didn't look like airbrush skin. It just looked like skin. It just looked like really good, healthy skin that doesn't have any oil, basically. And I liked it. It didn't look dry. Now, who is this for? A lot of our foundations, I'm finding that you could get away with wearing any of them. It's just in how you prepare your face. And our foundations are real forgiving. You just have to know what you want to look like at the end result. If you want a dewy finish, or you want a cream, or do you want a powder, or do you want liquid? Literally, you have to just know, do I need optical diffusers? Because we have optical diffusers in some of our um, foundation formulas to where it kind of reflects the light so it bounces off. Are you dealing with a lot of dryness? Are you dealing with a lot of wrinkles? Like, what are you dealing with and how much coverage do you need? Those are the things that you have to think about before you go in and try to find a foundation. You know, are you really, really, really oily? It doesn't matter if you're really, really, really oily. Like you don't have to go necessarily to a powder. It's all in what you want to use. So you have to know, what do you like? So foundations is like ordering pizza. What do you want on it? <laughs> you know, like, do you just want cheese? Do you want pepperoni? Do you want pepperoni and cheese? Like, you need to know what you like. So that's why when Merle Norman invented try before you buy method, she really was the, end of, uh, the inventor of that. Um, you can try out any of our foundations, take it home with you, see what you like, see if you like the consistency. Each one of our foundations is like, I wouldn't say one of a kind, but it's different. Not all of our liquids are the same. They're not all going to perform the same. They don't all have the same outcome as far as like coverage and, uh, and, oh gosh, and finish. <laughs> but anywho, so as I am ranting on, this has had enough time to settle down. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to take my sample that just fell so I'm gonna get up as close as I can now I did this with my fingers yesterday and it turned out okay so I'm gonna do one side so that you guys can see it but it comes with a regular sponge I kind of like this because it's a lot smoother. This doesn't have any sunscreen in it, unfortunately, or else I would really, really love. But my moisturizer that I use does have sunscreen and of course that other thing has sunscreen. So it's been a while since I've worn just a powder. I've never tried this wet, so I have no idea. So you can see already here versus there. Now I know I have a sucky um, phone because that's how I do all my videos is through my phone. I plan on getting another phone. It's just, <laughs> it's costly. So. doing well in the areas that I've put stuff in. So there we go. No makeup. Makeup. Now you can see that I have makeup and of course, you know, if I did shave my face and all, you wouldn't be able to see all my little, my little baby hairs on my face, but I don't do that. So, you know, and, uh, and yeah, so makeup does tend to grab hairs, especially if you have, you know, 
hairs on your face. Everyone has hairs on their face. Some have more, some have less. Um, but yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. And now I'm going to do, magically do the other side. <laughs> I am kind of patting and dragging. Like you would normally do. Now again, if you don't have a lot to cover, you would use a brush. But I want full coverage. And I believe that this has given me full coverage as y'all can see in real time, that it is with a, I don't know what you call this. This isn't a sponge. This is, what is this? I don't know what, what is this? <laughs> I don't know. But whatever this is, get one of these. Merle Norman sells them separately. They have a few different sizes. This is the small size. And this one's like a terry cloth. I prefer this one. But again, you know, you can get whatever is comfortable for you. I lost an eyelash. There we go. Now again, like I said, I, I put this on yesterday or last night. And... I just literally put it on with my fingers and I got the same effect, literally the same effect. And it was just, I had taken off my makeup and I put more makeup on <laughs> because I'm, I'm just obsessed. That's why. And I want, I couldn't wait until the next day to see if I really wanted to film this or not. And I really, really like it. So, and I really like to push the limits. I really like to see how far I can go and putting something on. I want full coverage, the fullest. So there you go. That's it. And now I'm ready to apply the rest of my makeup. So, that is our Ultra Powder Matte. And you can see it's matte, but it's not flat. It's not making me look like a powdery mess. I don't look like I have a, like, like what, what was it? What was that age? The, uh, what are those people that look all pale faced and white? Marie Antoinette, you know, all the powdery, too, too much powder. So it doesn't look uh, like the powder is sitting on top of my skin. It's actually a part of my skin. And I think that's because, again, we used products and that Foundation Primer Plus really helps. It really helped with this area because last night this area didn't look so hot. So that was the only area that I knew that I needed to address um, before I put this on. But yeah, so I urge you guys to try this out, especially, I mean, I'm, I'm not oily. This is made for, mm, does it say all skin types? Look at that. All skin types can wear this powder. So if you're oily, dry, very dry, you can still wear this powder. Okay. Well. I've taken up enough of your time today and I'm going to finish getting ready, but hopefully you guys will go out and try this powder and I will see you in the next video.